my channel my name is terry and i'm a youtuber and a hairstylist based in accra ghana i create beauty hair and lifestyle videos so if that's something you're interested in then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below and also hit your notification bell so you get notified anytime i have a new video up for you guys let me just stop rambling on let's get right into this video hi loves welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a long lasting makeup tutorial and i'm going to start off by prepping my face with my mac prep and prime setting spray i've already done my skincare routine which is really really important if you want long lasting makeup please 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 try to spend time with your skin before you go in with all these makeup products it's really really important If you have oily skin and you have the chance to get yourself the MAC Prep and Prime Setting Spray, it's not just for setting your makeup, you can also use it to prime your face and it really really helps to control oils and sweat during the day. So once my face is semi prepped, I'm going to go in with my brows and I really really... <sighs> It took me a while to decide to do this because I already have a lot of videos here on YouTube with me already doing my brows. Just in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen some of my old videos, I just decided to include it in this one. I'm going to be using my dark brown pencil. This is just a regular brow pencil and as you can see, I've really really sharpened the tip. This brow pencil is really really amazing and it's super affordable. I think it's about two Ghana cents and I bought a pack of 20 or so for 10 cds and i think it's a very good deal to make sure my brows don't get shiny during the day i'm first going to set it with my rcma no color powder i really don't like it when my brows get start to get shiny so i try not to forget this step brow shine control already in place i'm going to fill in my brows using my brow pencil you can use any brow pencil you have so i'm going to brush up my brows and i try my best to do both brows at the same time when i'm filling in my brows they're not going to be identical because even looking at them without being filled they don't look identical so i'm just going to try my best to achieve identical brows <laughs> so i'm going to be doing really really short strokes that's how come the brow tip the brow pencil tip was so 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 pointy yeah i want to be able to do really thin strokes in the front to mimic a natural brow. Hmm. Then I'm going to go in and fill in the bottom of my brows. And then the top ever so slightly. I'm just following the natural shape of my brow not doing too much I'm just filling them in as much as I possibly can and don't worry if you make any mistake while filling in your brows you're just going to correct that using some concealer goodness the weather is really hot today so I'm going to conceal underneath my brows using my, my Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. Because I want this makeup look to last really long, I'm going to lean in towards my Tarte Shade Tape Concealers because these concealers are amazing. It's on the pricey side, but they are amazing. And they have a very, very solid applicator wand. 
which I like. So I'm going to be taking my concealer brush from EJ Beauty, Evita Joseph. And I have a little of the concealer at the back of my hand, so I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it, I only listen every day. And then I'm going to blend the concealer out using my multi buffer brush from Evita Joseph. It's a buffing brush with double sides and I like to use this rounded side to blend out the concealer. And guys, the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer dries really, really fast. I mean, <laughs> it dries really fast, so you have to work fast when it comes to this concealer. And that's what I didn't know when I started using these concealers, so it ended up being a bit too patchy for me. But once I learned how to work with the concealers, I've really, really fallen in love with them. You can let it sit for a little bit before you blend, but try to blend it as fast as you possibly can. It's really full coverage and it dries down matte, so it's an, it can serve as an amazing eyeshadow base, especially if you want to use concealer as your eyeshadow base and you don't want to use like eyeshadow primers and stuff. This concealer is amazing for that. And I'm going to take another brush, a smaller concealer brush to really get into the high points of my brows just so I don't have halo brows Listen. we don't do halo brows in 2020 so what I'm not going to do is conceal the top of my brows with the same concealer I'm going to use either a foundation that is my shade or a concealer that is really really close to my shade and so I like to use my concealer my Milani conceal and perfect foundation for this to conceal the top parts of my brows I'm going to put a little bit of it on the back of my hands and then using the same flat brush from Evita Joseph I'm going to conceal the top of my brows I just want to say I need affection Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it I only miss it every day I need Then I'm going to blend it out with the same brush Does it matter what you say? So now we're going to prime our face. I'm not a fan of mattifying primers. I like to use primers that have some form of moisture just because I have dry skin. But if you have oily skin, I advise that you gear towards oil controlling primers. So for the areas that I have large pores, I usually like to go in with my L Poreless Primer. And that's mostly around my nose and my under eye areas. I tend to have a lot of um, large pores on that area, so you know, my forehead too. And then the next primer that I like to use is my tone adjusting face primer, also from e.l.f. And I apply that on the areas where I didn't apply my poreless primer. So now if you're on the market for a new primer, I'd really recommend you try some of the e.l.f. primers. Most of them work great. I'm going to be color correcting the dark areas on my face with my Tarte Shade Tape Concealer and this one is in the shade Deep Honey. Try not to drag the concealer too much, you're just tapping tapping to make sure that it stays in place. I'm going to be concentrating the concealer on my under eye area because I tend to have a bit of darkness around the side and I also still have I also still have some acne scars that's on my cheek area that I'm still working on. <laughs> So 
So how have you guys been so far with the elections in the US, COVID-19? 2020 has just been such, such a chaotic year. I try to stay as positive as I possibly can and do my best to give social media some distance, but it always finds a way to catch up with me. <laughs> so I'm going to be wetting my beauty blender. Make sure your sponge is damp before you use it. It really helps to improve the spreadability of your foundation. And I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty in the shade 460. is a bit too dark and it has a very red undertone but the concealer I'm going to be using to highlight is quite light and it's the same concealer I used underneath my brows and it's the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. I'm going to be applying a generous amount of concealer. So I'm going to let that concealer sit a bit and then I'm going to contour and I'm going to be contouring with my, my black opal foundation stick in the shade black walnut. I'm going to apply that on the high points of my cheeks and on my chin and then I'm going to take a bit on a tiny brush and then use it to contour my nose. Then on my forehead area. Time I just wanna see what happens. Don't ignore you wanna know you, show you all the classics. No, I'm spoiled, but I saw you when I saw the talent. The first glance when I knew that I you guys please do not forget the touch shade tape concealers dry really really fast. So you have to work fast when you're using them to prevent your makeup from getting patchy. And also when you're blending the concealer underneath your eyes, it's really helpful if you look up so you can really get into those folds underneath your eyes. I'm not looking for a one night. You're not looking for a love life. Maybe we can have a good time. I don't want this shit to end. You don't want it to begin. I'm not looking for a girl to go live in the morning. Next day, new place, you a tourist. Wish I stayed blind to the fact. Blaming on the night and a jack. To blend out the concealer on my nose, I'm going to pinch the sponge like so and use that to blend down, blend my nose. I'm going to blend out the contour also really, really quick, and I'll be using the other side of my blender. Some gold chains, there's a lot of don't tell you, no, I should have known better. You eye candy, and I've been fed up. Iron grip on a Stella, bitch, I won't let up. She thinks that it's just for the night. Fuck it, then I'll be. And I like to bring that the contour up because when you blend it downwards, it tends to drag your face down. Yeah, when the night's not controlling you, so when you get up and you leave, but I don't want to see what you open to, like the renegade. Like then the forehead, I'm going to blend my forehead. I'm going to set the contoured areas of my face first of all, and I'll be using my Black Radiance Contour Palette, Contour Shade. Always tap off the excess because it's better if you have li a little product than to have too much product. So always tap off the excess. Apply that powder upwards. Then I'm going to take a small eyeshadow brush and then use the sculpting shade right here. Tapping off the excess to sculpt my nose, my nose contour a little bit more. I'm not looking for a one night. You're not looking for a love life. Maybe we can have a good time. I don't want this shit to end. You don't want it to. 
to begin. And I like to bring that shade up into my brows just to make your nose contour look so much more seamless. So now I'm going to set my concealer. Oh my God, I'm sure it's starting to crease by now. My Aesthetica Banana Powder. I'm not sure if this setting powder is famous, but it controls oils like crazy. I'm going to use this, the same Real Techniques sponge because it still has some concealer products on it. So it's going to help me really, really blend the setting powder. I like to bring some a bit on my my lid then blend 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 until it completely disappears into your skin I really don't like to bake then I bring a bit a tiny bit of it onto my brows too Ironic. I'm not looking for a one night you're not looking for a love life maybe we can have a good day then whatever excess powder I have on the sponge, I go down underneath my contour line to further enhance that contour. So to make sure the powder has really really disappeared into my skin, I'm going to go back in with my, my beauty blender to just make sure that the powder has really really melted into my skin. I shot like what's up but I draw blanks Go get it, I'm a go, really got my sets and go chase There's a lot I don't tell you, no I shoulda know So I'm going to set the rest of my face that I did not apply my setting powder I'm going to go in with my, my Note Cosmetics powder It just helps to bring back the color into my face Find another one I like, let you know about it Yeah, when the night's not controlling you So when you get up and you leave but I don't I'm also going to be going in again with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder for just the inner parts of my eyes. I don't, I don't, I don't. Then I'm going to set everything in place with my MAC Prep and Prime setting spray. So this is usually the last step in my face base. When the setting spray is not completely dried, I like to go in with my highlighter. It's just, it just enables your highlighter to pop so, so much more. So today I'm going to be using my, my Colleen Terracotta highlighter. It's quite a subtle highlighter for dark skin. It's not too much, not too blinding. So I like to apply some on my brow area, the high points of my face, and on my chin. And a bit on the bridge of my nose. So we're almost done with the look. So I'm going to go in with my blush and I like to use my eyeshadow as blush. That's what I've been doing for years and years and years. So I'm going to be mixing Tara and Zohara and then tapping up the excess. I'm going to apply it upwards in an upward motion. This just brings back some color into your face. I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then come back. But the lashes that I'm going to be using are the AOA Studio Premium Lashes. I really love these lashes. I've not used them in quite a while. But I really love these lashes. So these are the ones I'm going to be using today. So our lashes are on. <laughs> I haven't done a bold wing liner in so long. <sighs> I used to do a bold wing liner like almost every single day. Let's just move on to lips and then I'm going to, to outline my lips with the same pencil I used to fill in my brows. I'm going to slightly overdraw them a bit. And then I'm going to go in with my Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in the shade Break House. I'm going to go in with my brow pencil again. So you could leave it like this. You could leave it like this if you wanted to, but... I'm going to go in with some, with a lighter lip color in the center. My Milani in the shade Adorable. <sighs> so 
so now I guess we're done. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video up to this point. I'm enjoying creating makeup videos for you guys so let me know if the feeling is mutual and you guys are enjoying watching my makeup tutorials. Also tell me if there are any particular videos that you would like me to create next on this channel and I'd love 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 to create them for you guys. I just decided to go in with some lip gloss. You can also give that a try. I'm very much a gloss girl, so... So let me know, do you prefer the matte look or the glossy lip look? All the products that I used in this video will be down in my description box down below. Share this video with your friends and family. Let everybody know about my channel and yeah, I'll see you in my next video next week. But until then, bye!